All right, to recap, and by the way, we take questions on our program. If, if you have a question, email us, all right? We, we dedicate portions of some of our shows to questions that our viewers have. Go to the website, you'll see a little place there, you can email a comment or a question and send it to us. If we think that it has value, we'll put it on the program. We'll, we'll answer your question on the air or we'll even play your comment and discuss it. Okay, the Democrats need, uh, the Democrat candidate needs 2,383 delegate votes at the convention to become the nominee. Now I know that this is a, a lot of vocabulary. So the nominee in 2012, the nominee for the Democrats was Barack Obama and the nominee for the Republican party was Mitt Romney. In 2008, the Democrat party nominee was Barack Obama and the nominee for the Republicans was John McCain. Those nominees were selected at the convention of each party based upon the rules that each of those parties established on how the delegate count, the people who get to vote at the convention, all right, at the ballots at the convention, the people who get to vote at the convention, those, those rules are established by the parties and most of the Republicans, almost all of them are a result of the primaries and a large portion of them with the Democrats are established at their primaries, but they also have those super delegates, those free spirits who get to do what they want, muddy the water. All right, here is how Donald Trump could prevail in many of the states, stroll into the convention with over 1,200 delegates, but not the 1,237 he needs, and then be denied be denied the, um, the nomination. What does Donald Trump have to offer delegates that are coming from all over these 50 states? I don't even know what a delegate, who they are, I don't even know who they are. Well, a lot of them are party activists. A lot, of, some of them are elected officials who also happen to be delegates. So these are connected people. And if, it, if Donald Trump doesn't get the 1,237 he needs, Donald Trump does not control the Republican Party apparatus, the infrastructure. He doesn't control it. The party machine does. The Carl Roves, the George W. Bushes, the Jeb Bushes, the Kasichs. That's who control the party people from their state, they are hoping. For those of them that are committed to prayer, which I don't know who of who them are, they might even be praying that Donald Trump doesn't get the number because they know that Donald Trump cannot stroll down to the floor and say, I happen to know that there is a district attorney position in county Harrison County that's going to be opening up. And if, if you'd like to be the district attorney, if you could just help bring the delegates from your state to vote for XYZ candidate, Marco Rubio, Jeb Bush, you can have that job. They will actually begin parlaying political favors. It's happened before. President Lincoln won the Republican nomination, if my memory is correct, on the 10th ballot. They didn't have a nominee who had enough of a majority when they got to the convention so they just kept voting over and over. And Lincoln's people were on the floor of the convention cutting deals, offering people positions inside of Lincoln's cabinet if they would bring the delegates to vote for him. That's how President Lincoln, one of our most famous presidents, became the nominee for the Republican Party and then went on to become president. So the Republican Party the establishment that hate Donald Trump and despise us, by the way, despise the base. They want Trump to get into that convention without a majority. That's the only thing they can hope for to stop him. That's it. And by the way, Jeb Bush said early on that he would win the party's nomination without the base. Those of us who are evangelical, devout Catholic, devout pro-lifers, those of us who are devoutly in, in favor of the Second Amendment and in marriage between one man and one woman at one time, okay? We're the base. 
We're not the moneyed class giving million dollar contributions to super PACs. They despise us. They want to use us and then discard us after the election. But now, many of that rabble, the Tea Party people, they have found in Donald Trump and in Ted Cruz, especially those two, and a little bit with Ben Carson, but especially those two renegade candidates, insurgent candidates. And those two men are scaring the snot out of the Republican establishment. And we are scaring the snot out of the establishment because we're telling the establishment, get lost. Get lost. We're done doing your bidding. So the only thing they can hope for, the establishment, is to keep... By the way, they need to keep multiple candidates in. I don't know if you've thought about this. It doesn't help if, if Ted Cruz pulled out and Kasich pulled out. It doesn't mean that all those supporters go to Rubio. There's this foolish little narrative out there that if we could just get some of these people out and Rubio could be the establishment candidate, he might be able to take on Trump. No, <laughs> no, it's not going to happen because a lot of Trump's, a lot of Cruz's people would go over to Trump and a, and a good number of the other candidates would. What they need to hope for is multiple candidates that stay in the race all the way to the end and keep Trump in the high 20s and the low 30s. Only then do they have a chance of Trump going into the convention without the number that he needs to win the nomination on the first ballot. So hope that this has been a help to you to understand what's going on. Remember the magic numbers. For Hillary, it's 2383. That's how many delegates she needs to win the nomination. And she's got probably close to 700 super delegates that are in her hip pocket because they don't have to vote for the, the states, whoever's winning the primaries. On the Republican side, the number is 1,237 and Donald Trump needs to hit that number before he strolls into the convention or he could be in a world of hurt despite his incredible popularity with a certain segment of the base inside of the party. Well, but can Donald Trump defeat Hillary Clinton? Well, I'll tell you when we come back.